Hey guys, it's Steph with Crafty Ladybug, and today's lesson is going to be on the paper cardboard heart letters. I've created these letters by simply painting cardboard letters in my choice of color, which I have chosen to do in white today. And now we're going to be decorating them up using paper and other assorted products that you can find in your scrapbooking aisle. You will first want to start with painting your letters in the color of your choice. I have chosen to do white because it matches my paper that I wish to cover it with. Our next products that we will need is a form of a chalk. You do not have to do this portion if you don't uh, like this idea, but I just simply like to have the edge chalked just slightly. Gives it a little bit of texturing, distressed type of look, and a little bit more dimension. So like I said, you do not have to have the chalk. You can simply just use the raw edge of the paper. You'll need a pair of scissors. I'm going to be using some ribbon to accent today. A form of adhesive. I like to use my tape runner that I use for scrapbooking, but you can also use Elmer's um, school glue, the regular stick kind of glue, or you can use the traditional Mod Podge and paintbrush technique for this. Other items that we're going to need is our pencil to trace with, and a couple buttons to accent, a few flowers to accent, and these are foam adhesive squares or dimensional dots, some people call them. You can find them at your local craft store, typically in the scrapbooking aisle. I got lucky enough to find these at Walmart for a real good deal of 75 cents. So we will be using some of those. Or you could use glue dots, once again, found at your local scrapbook store or a craft store, typically with the scrapbooking adhesives. So to begin this project, we're going to be taking a sheet of scrapbook paper. I have chosen two different styles today because I wanted one X to be red and one X to be more of a white look. So you have an XO, XO type of, of look here to it. So we're gonna be doing something very similar to this with the other letters that I have left. You want to take your scrapbook paper and you want to turn it over so that it is facing down on your work area. The next step that you'll want to do is to take your letter. I want my X to be red. So I'm going to take my letter and I'm placing it at the very bottom of my scrapbook paper. That way I have an edge here that I don't have to worry about cutting out when it comes to the cutting portion. We'll simply take our pencil and you want to trace around your X on the back side of the paper. Just simply run your pencil edge around and we're going to then use our scissors to cut that out. So I'm going to flip, flip my X over so I'll know where the top is and then I'm going to just pick up my scrapbook paper and begin to cut out the portion of my X simply by using just a thin pair of scissors, a small pair of scissors. You can also use an X-Acto knife to do this, but I find the scissors are a little bit easier to use and handle. So I like to use my scissors. Be very careful though, whichever product you choose that you don't cut yourself. We you don't want any, anyone to get seriously hurt, but we're just going to cut out our X and then we're going to do the same thing to our O, but using the other scrapbook paper. So if you guys want to just cut out your portion, your portions, <laughs> sorry about that, your pieces, and get back with me, we can do that. My next step, once again, is just going to be to trace out my O in the different paper and continue to cut that out. So let's go ahead and do that step and then we'll join back up again for further instructions. Alright guys, we should have all of our paper pieces cut out by now. Here I've got my X and here I've got my O. What we will do next is to adhere them together and place our X on top of our X and our O on top of our O. And to do that, I am simply just going to take my tape runner 
As I said before, I like to use the tape runner. You can use pretty much any type of adhesive that you find um, available to you. It doesn't have to be scrapbook adhesive. This is just what I choose to use, but anything will work. And we're just going to secure our edges. This might take a little bit of time. I know most of you probably aren't as fast as me with this, but that's kind of the reason why I like this tape runner, because it is a little fast. And then I'm just gonna make sure that I have all my pieces hidden, pieces of tape hidden. And we'll adhere that down onto our X. And you wanna smooth that out from the center out. And center down, and center down. And we've got our X nice and smooth. Now let's go ahead and do our O. And same thing, you just want to adhere that however you feel comfortable. Get adhesive on your paper. And I'm just randomly placing it around on this O. again lay it on top and then from the center out and center down center out center down smooth that out nice and smooth and then this is where the chalk comes into play for me like I said you don't have to do this portion if you don't want to but I just open up the little cat's eye chalk once again found at your local scrapbook store and just kind of brush it like just tap and brush it down around the edge and you can go as light or as dark as you wish Get up in the corner and it just adds just a very little bit of shadowing a little bit of distressed some people may call this distressing gives it a little distressed look Some people don't really care to see the raw edge of the paper. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my O. The O is a little bit trickier because you have to get inside the O. And if you're a little, little one, you might have a problem getting inside the O if you decided to do the chalk. And then I'm going to do my outside edge real quick. And the good thing about these letters is you can reuse them over and over again. If you didn't do Mod Podge, you can simply peel off this layer of paper and reuse your letters over for a next form, next season decoration if they fit into it. And now our next step is going to be just to finish off our pieces, do a little bit of decorating on them. I am going to place a flower down here on the corner of my X. I've already got a flower in the center of this X, so I'm just going to offset it slightly on this one. And to do that, I'm going to use my foam dot adhesive. I'm just going to place that on the back of the flower. Once again, these products are all found at a craft store, typically in the scrapbook aisle. Place that down here. And then I've got a button. You don't have to use a button. You can use anything that you wish. I'm going to place that button right there. I'm going to be using one of my glue dots for that. There's a little teeny tiny clear glue dot right there. And if you put your button on it, it'll pick it right up off your roll of tape. And then you just simply flip that over onto the flower. And there we've got a little bit of decoration on our X. And now for our O, I have created a scrapbook tag. This is something I made myself using a machine called a Cricut. So I created this tag using that die cutting machine. And I will probably be doing future episodes of that. Um, however, not, not quite ready to do them yet and share those. Unless I have a lot of interest, I will, will begin to share those episodes. But I'm just going to take this and I'm going to put a couple pop dots or dimensional dots. You'll hear me refer to them as dimensional dots. I'm just going to place a few of those on the back there. 
I'm going to turn it over and I'm just going to accent the O, o slightly with that tag I've made and created. And you guys can feel free to decorate your items however you wish. But here I've got my XO and my other X and my other O. So we have a cute little Valentine theme going on here. Try to get everything in that shot. So we've got hugs and kisses for a great, simple, easy Valentine decor. And truthfully, this costs probably less than $15. And I hope you guys will stay tuned for some other great Valentine items. Check out my t-shirt on the channel. My daughter did a set of simple painted love letters, the same exact letters, but she used a painting technique on those. We've also got a gumball machine coming, a candy bouquet, and a flower arrangement is already done and on the channel. So look for some of these other great Valentine tutorials. Stay tuned and don't forget to like me on Facebook at CraftyLadybugCreations.com. Follow me on Instagram at CraftyLadybug. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Crafty Ladybug Creations.